Today is another day in jungle. The weather is good. Not too hot. Not too cold. It's just nice to be out. So today I want to talk about this Oroko card that I made. So there's a uh, 53 cards and each card has a message. For example, this is a jealousy and then it's about merging of uh, femininity and masculinity. So each card has message and it's supposed to be a message about the current status or something that you need to know at this moment. So I want to play this card that I made. You see this back side, it has got this Zentai design. This Zentai, it says Zentai, it's a kind of Symbols, a label that I've been using for my artworks. One thing come out. I believe I should take it. When I'm shuffling and one card pops up, it could mean this is the card that I need to get message from. It says uh, technology and then it says uh, fight or competition in a high high dimension, high dimensions. It says technology and it's about uh, competition in high dimension. You know like technologies like AIs, when the iPhone came up it's like iPhone, all these technologies are for us, it's like kind of beyond our reach. Whatever that they are fighting for the latest technology and the functions and futures for us to use, that's like so high up that I can't really reach or do anything to contribute on this part. So like, for example, now we have a generic bi biology, you know, like you, you touch the human di DNA, try to create something else, you know, things like this happen, you know, and those things are beyond my imagination, beyond my reach, beyond my skills. I guess I have zero knowledge of it compared to what is happening lately in the world. And those are maybe just a handful of scientists that real knowledgeable, committed scientists that lead the world, isn't it? All the technologies are within this handful of scientists that is leading it. So the message of this technology, hmm, message of this technology, hmm, I guess it's the technology that it's, to me, technology is very much related to consumerism. 
you see like uh, for example now I like to buy Jimbo. Jimbo is like a, you have mobile phone and you have this tripod type of uh, handles that, that let you use. It, it has this a AI function that, that, that follow your face, follow your body movement as if there's another person behind the camera controlling the camera. So you walk this way and the camera can follow you this direction, this this kind of AI jimbo I'm thinking and then it's a lot about do I want to pay money, you know? It's nothing to do with what can I contribute to this technology of jimbos or AIs. I just use it. Like AI image, I just use it. I don't think I'm contributing anything except maybe unwillingly, unknowingly, maybe they suck my data from my mobile phone they're, because they're collecting data, no? perhaps. Some of the things they're collecting data. So, you know, like one day I was uh, uh, are there some function that I couldn't use and I have to uh, upload my driving license to get this uh, confirmation to, to get the right of fully enable the function. So, so I use the website to, to allow my image on my phone to upload and then you know I let it I let the Wi-Fi on on my phone and did something else for a few hours and when I come back I realize I I have used up 20 over gigabytes already on that day on that few hours I know it because I didn't use uh, Wi-Fi like uh, unlimited use of Wi-Fi I buy I buy gigabytes over here in the mountain. You don't have like a unlimited supply of the data, so I buy it like a 30 gig. And, and that, because that's a real fast one, I can keep it for only for the special occasions. And then it's all gone. Uh, something has happened, no? after I uh, upload the driver's license, but it's not related to the technology. I think this means, look at it, it says technology and then competition in a higher dimension. So, maybe this means to me, Technology seems out of hand, out of control for us for consumer like me. It's nothing I can do, but I guess technology is not like that anymore. Maybe all the rights are given to everyone equally. And how you develop it or how you call it technology. Because technology, it's, it's a... Okay, it's not only about uh, special function inside the phone and computers and systems, or discoveries. It's, it's also technique. It's a technique also, like a ballet dancer's technique. It's also the way, like a like politician, they have a technique to talk things out the body language and everything can be technique. It's an art. Out of writing, out of skills, martial skills. So if you expand the, the definition of technology into any kind of technique, I believe everyone can develop or discover new techniques. 
Maybe when I think about my new technique, it could be like Zentai. I've been doing Zentai quite a long time, since 2009. I, one day I, I, I was living in Singapore and occasionally I used to go back to Japan for one month or something. And every time uh, I go back to Japan, I kind of expect certain things like uh, this time, oh yeah, I may want to meet this kind of person or I may want to purchase something like that, you know, few things that only available in Japan. And somehow that time when I, when I planned to go back to Japan, I was thinking, I was planning some few things, but one of the things was like, oh, I want to get Zentai. It could be good for my music. So like I have all the composition of music and I may be able to use Zentai as a visual element, print it together, print together with the music to create a music video. So I want Zentai. Then I go back and suddenly I, I, I happen to meet somebody who likes Zentai and he gave me Zentai and that's how I started. My first Zentai was a black Zentai and used it a lot. And all kinds of happy things happened after that. So it's been quite a while. How long? Maybe 15, 16 years. On and off, been making videos and performances that I've been mean, making continuously. Uh, I'm making this card also. I made this Oroko card because I thought I may want to develop philosophy of Zentai. Why not? Everything has philosophy. Like football may have philosophy, right? Then Zentai may have philosophy also. And the meaning of Zentai also could change by time because they are more focused on each timing. People's co collective consciousness would shift along the time. So at Zentai's philosophy, Zentai's philosophy is maybe vast, very big, many, many meanings, but on a particular moment of time, it could give a more interesting story to one particular subject. So in that way, Zentai philosophy also changed by time and the situation. So, so it could be one step further to develop a technology or technique of Zentai. Or like dancing that, that, that could be different from a regular dancing, you know, a regular dance. Like a hip hop, they have all the costume that goes well with those uh, particular type of dancing. Zentai, with this suit, you may have a different type of dancing that will look good. Mm. I, I used to uh, organize Zentai Art Festival and what I wanted to do was to discover all kinds of possibility using Zentais. So I would invite performance artists and dancers and musicians and uh, artists to, to use their method to express what they understand about Zentai. So there are paintings and installations and videos and also performances of dance and performance art and uh, so on. And we also did a series of Zentai works and Zentai performances where 30 people were in Zentai together following particular choreography to create one artwork. Mm. And what I wanted to do is to see all the universe of Zentai because everyone should have their own understanding of Zentai and own way to express what is Zentai. And 
I believe we will also give a new perspective to the world. Why I think it gives new perspective to the world? Because uh, Zentai has this thing about covering the face. And covering the face also arise a particular issue in the society. For example, in the time of now, the face, uh, face recognition is coming popular and also in the town you have all the monitoring cameras that also detect your face and in certain countries they will also identify who you are. So the face plays important role and about your identity and personalities and all the information, personal information is carried within the face digitally but also uh, organically, like when you meet somebody and you kind of see the face or look into the eye and you know you, if you can fit into this person or not. You know, are you, are you in the same vibration as me? Do, you, do we have same same frequency or not? It's through the face, right, normally. So, when you cover the face, it it's not like it diminishes the function or it enhances some function, but it may just question it, questions or that kind of thing. For some people, maybe face recognition is uh, something to bother them. Then, then they, they could be expressing those issues through Zentai. And for some people, maybe the they don't like people to see their face. They don't feel comfortable for several reasons, like they are shy or uh, they, they are too nervous against other people, strangers, and they can be themselves once they cover their face. That's another case. Or, or the other way around, like when I do interviews, wearing zentai and the other person not wearing zentai, they would feel more comfortable talking with me wearing zentai because whatever they talk, they don't really care about my expression and my reactions. They just freely talk about what they want to talk about because they don't expect me to create the reactions every time they have to worry about am I happy, am I enjoying their stories through the facial expressions. So that 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 was some of the Zentai Zentai philosophy I could think of. Yeah, Zentai philosophy. So what is the technology or technique for you to discover newly? Nowadays it's not about other people telling you what is creation and creativity is and what you should do to, to have a better art or better creations. All the rules we can set ourselves nowadays. And we don't look for attention or approval from other people to feel happy about what we create. No longer like that. So it's about discovering new technique or own technique of ourselves and be ourselves.